Boulevard is moving to 485 William S. Canning Boulevard. I'm excited. Not too many years ago, Franklin, we shot a movie here and we shot a goodbye to Kmart yeah. at the very location we're going to. They're gonna tear down this whole mall, build a new shopping center. It wasn't clear from the press coverage if Kmart was unwilling to build a new store or not invited to build a new store. At the time, you were grumpy that this is gonna be an outdoor shopping complex. But it is, you know, exceeded my expectations. What about this beautiful movie theater right here? Yeah. Picture show. Doesn't that look a little too California though? We go there all the time and it's awesome. But my piece de resistance, market basket. Yeah. My weekly shop. You don't find it incredibly overwhelming. You mean with the number of people in it? Yes. Uh, yeah, I do. But you gotta just kind of think of it as a carnival, a festival. <laughs> Commence au festival. Despite how busy it is inside, they, they do get people out. Oh, they move people. We just had this food. I got Mary Lou's coffee for the first time ever. It was delicious. There's a couple things that I keep reminding myself I 100% must buy. What are they? Cat food. Cat food. Cat <laughs> food. Cat food. <laughs> if it's not bought today, the cat's going to get really bad. They have a crazy dessert selection here. They do. John, we've been promising that we would do the new Market Basket John's Cart for so long. Are people bat sh for Market Basket? A little bit. We're getting one in Fall River. Yeah, yeah where the Harbor Mall used to be. Where came it used to be. And then we'll leave a question mark box somewhere for a future market basket. Up here. Could be in FY20. Yeah, FY20. <laughs> I want to see that box there and I want to see it unfilled for three years. Except then they got rid of annotations. That's a really good price. The number of parts is down. Tells you how busy this place can get. Why do you think it's so popular? It's cheaper than anywhere else. Even Walmart. A little. This place has been open since fallish, right? And I've just about now learned where everything is in the store. Really? It's a big one. It takes a while. Normal weekly shop, 30 minutes. Ooh, it's still warm. Are you gonna make sandwiches with it? No. Just have it with uh, meals. Okay, so this Blazed is very tart. This, this is almost kind of like what Whole Foods does. Yeah. Premium. They'll just sell you a bag of like ricotta cannoli filling. What? So you can just fill your own cannolis or desserts. That's great. That's great. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that <laughs> One thing that's a little weird. The ice cream is completely separated from all the other frozen stuff. They it's have a serious amount of ice cream as part of it. They do. Like way more selection than I'm used to. Like all ice cream. Yeah, it's ice cream all the way down. This is one of the trouble I have with Market Basket, okay? They don't always have the exact flavor of a brand that I want. I haven't seen Breyer's Cherry Vanilla anywhere else except here. But the chocolate peanut butter I love, it's also not here. While we're on the topic, let me just say, most of Breyer's stuff is trash. See how they all say frozen dairy dessert? Those are junk. Don't buy them. It's not ice cream. It's milk with lots and lots of sugar in it to make it super sweet. There's a few of Breyer's things that are still ice cream, like that vanilla chocolate strawberry. That is still delicious. And the chocolate peanut butter is the best around, and it's real ice cream. All of the ice cream toppings in one sense of the In one place, yeah, and that's kind of unusual. Nothing else. Market Basket has its ice cream game down, minus oh, your favorite does. flavors. Lots of unusual veg, such as these parsnips, or fresh jicama. What is jicama, you ask? I don't know. Whatever happened to, like, the big, giant barrel of pistachios? Pistachio prices went up too much. That's the problem. One of my favorite products right here. Pre-peeled garlic, ready to use. It's a pain in the butt to peel garlic. If I have it peeled, I will use way more of it. Baby carrots. Delicious. Baby bananas. Every other week, I buy one of these. This is the best spinach around. Olivia's, Olivia's organic. That's the same kind we buy. Five dollars a pound, unbeatable price for spinach. Nina's excited about the pre-cut veg. I'm pre excited veg. about all the, all the various types of riced veg. Here's butternut rice. Now, cauliflower rice is real standard. You can get this pretty any, much anywhere. Zucchini rice, I don't see that everywhere. Butternut rice, I don't see that everywhere. Summer got, squash noodles? I rarely see sweet potato noodles. It's also great. You could get pre-cut sweet potato crinkle cut fries to bake at home for your own self. Oh, a couple of frozen Marie calendars, good for work lunches, hungry fried chicken, and a grove, meatloaf and grovey. Your microwave situation at work sorted? Oh yes, it's pretty much under control. You don't always have a good microwave situation or refrigerator no. situation at your work. We, we do, we have it under control. One of my offices just bought a full-size fridge and everybody is very pleased. Ooh, that will, that's like kind of an essential office thing though, isn't it? Do you get the occasional notice that's like anything not removed from the fridge today will yes. be thrown out? We yeah, have somebody who comes in and actually cleans it. Remember that Simpsons gag when they make the tent around the fridge and they all huddle around? Oh yeah. I was just Crazy. in the freezer. It was just the best of them. I got the idea when I noticed the refrigerator was cold. Won't this overload the motor? Marge, can you set the oven to cold? New Mac on the market. Market basket baked with crappy breadcrumb topping. Two pounds worth. It's 4 dollars These Andres right here are 
the lowest of the low, the lowest quality food you can buy. This is basically a meal for a family, $2.50, but it is not the best one. Japanese style panko seasoned bread crumbs. I appreciate the fact that the word loose needs to be larger than yams in loose yams. Loose yams. <laughs> loose yams. Cat food, cat food, cat food. Oh yeah. I always have this conundrum about buying cat food. Do I buy the cheap crap cat food or do I buy the big buck? Does your cat seem to care? No, not in the least. Does your cat have any major health issues? No, not in the least. So do you always decide on the cheap? I get the most expensive. But I don't know if it makes any sense at all to buy Iams Proactive Health Indoor Complete Workout. But that's what I'm gonna buy today. Cat food. There it is. I wanted to come over and check to see if they had any specials on sausage before I go to the counter. We're going to the counter. No specials. Uh, could I get two of the uh, spinach and feta sausage, please? I've tried a bunch of different sausages from there and they are some of the best around, let me tell you. They're the best. They've also got broccoli rabe sausage that it's a little too veggie for me, but you know, some of mine like that. You can never buy a turkey off season here. You can always get a roast turkey. 24 hours wow. a day, seven years a month. Seven years a day. <laughs> seven years a month. Seven hours a week. On the 13th month. <laughs> it all started on the 13th hour of the 13th day of the 13th month. We were there to discuss the misprinted calendars the school had purchased. Lousy smart brother. I'm going to do something I rarely do. I'm going to buy a seat. Can I get a half part of the scallops, please? Scallops, dude? Oh, I love scallops. Are you going to put a little panko on them? No, no. Just put them in a butter sauce. They're 18 bucks a pound usually, and this is like half that. Normally, I go to a restaurant and get them because it's like I'm going to have to cook these today. It's probably tomorrow, but today or tomorrow to get them nice and fresh. I got to get ready to actually make a real meal out of them. These are deli ends. They package them up and sell them cheap, cheap. This pack of turkey, $2.99 a pound. It's a great deal. They find a lot of ways to actually waste less food than most urban That's right. This would, this would, I think, either go into the general food waste at like a stop and shop that gets bought by farmers. Uh, but here, they package it up and sell it to you for cheap. One of my favorite items, these raw breaded chicken tenders. 69 a pound. They used to have them for $1.99 a pound. It was a little better deal, but they are really good. You do have to deep fry them because they're raw. So convenient and a lot cheaper than buying the fully processed, fully cooked ones. What are you getting, whole? Whole milk, delicious. I know how I'm always on the Kerry Gold butter, but lately I've been kind of pulling back and going for cabin. I actually found on bread, I'm starting to like cap a little more. I still do love it. I still do have two pounds in my fridge. Lactose-free butter, never seen it before. We're entering a lactose-free world. I guess so. I guess that's the way we're headed. People can't digest it. My tummy still got it down. I like this lazy people's rice that you can just put in the microwave in the bag. You got eggs? You buy eggs, Dana? I make the child an egg once a week for, she loves it? for allergy prevention. She does like it. I need the roasted garlic, the, the tomato basil. This is the best jarred sauce around. I like that one. This pasta appeals to me. Big corkscrew. It's by the company who I like their tomato sauce. Nina says tomato and potato. All right. <laughs> Should I try this pasta, Nina? Yes. All right. We're basically done at this point. Did you see the shape my travel made? Kind of came in, went around the back, up the sides, dipping into aisles only sparingly. That's the strategy we use here. Not too busy at all here right now. I'm gonna go straight ahead to this out. What do you think you're paying today? You know, I don't even track anymore the rich man's anarchy but <laughs> 55 somewhere in there it's a rough real rough guess though can you say dada can you say dada Baba. what it come to john 75 something he says it's not too busy right now but it's always busy at market basket <laughs> 